The landowners found out about the sale when they saw the land being cleared this week. I was in the place and I was in the place. I was in the place and I was in the place. The land is being sold to the NKW group by Timothy Amos, a man whose father was offered the land to settle on to set up the Bewapi coffee mill. According to the landowners, he has the title to his land portion. However, he sold land that was not within his area. As we said, it's customary land that has been converted to state lease. We haven't given our permission consent. We, don't, we didn't even know it was sold or registered until the, after it was done. In the 1970s, Holmes Kissing's grandfather, Kissing Tikandu, was given a letter of authority from the Land Titles Commission. This gives us the first right of refusal for acquisition of land for any agricultural leases that have been expired. NKW CEO Marlon Branskill says the company cited Timothy Amos's state lease of the piece of land known as Portion 835 before they started the process to purchase the land three months ago. It covers 51 hectares and was being sold for 14 million kina. As far as we're concerned, uh, all instruments have been, uh, have been presented and that satisfy the company's investment committee's um, uh, process to carry, uh, carry this transaction forward. So. The company stopped clearing the land following these concerns by the landowners and have given them a week to meet with Timothy Amos. Mr. Branskill says any grievances the landowners have will have to be sorted with Timothy Amos. However, they are willing to work with both parties. The process is waiting for those two parties to, um, um, to come to an agreement. So we're quite happy to support uh, both ends, uh, but we just need a joint, uh, a joint letter from the both of them saying that we, uh, we're happy to progress. So. Lucy Kopana, National MTV News, Leigh.